Safety should always be a priority when traveling, though there is no denying that traveling alone, while an incredible experience, brings a few extra precautions with it. I've been traveling solo for about 13 years now, and along the way I've learned a lot about ways to stay safe when exploring the world on your own. And I'm going to be sharing those tips with you in this video. But first, I want to direct your attention to the description of this video where I've shared a link to my free Savvy Solo Traveler email course. The six day email course shows you step by step how to plan the perfect solo trip and hit the road with confidence. Feel free to even pause this video to go grab your seat in the course. You back? Then let's dive in. So right now I'm going to go over some of my top tips for traveling solo abroad and staying safe. Note that I'll be mentioning a ton of different resources, apps, and tools, so I'll make sure to add links to the video description box where possible. Okay, let's kick things off with tip number one, research the destination. Along with knowing if a place is safe for solo travelers and what areas are safe to wander alone, you should also research what scams and other potential issues you should be aware of. Even places that are safe for solo travelers aren't without issues. Knowing what those are beforehand will make it much easier to avoid them. For instance, where I live in New York City, one common scam is for people to come up to you at the airport and tell you that they have a black car outside that you can take, which can seem like an attractive option when there is a long taxi line and Ubers are taking forever. However, what they don't tell you is that you are going to pay much, 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 did I mention much, more than you would for a cab. And by the way, you should also research customs beforehand so that you don't make any social faux pas or offensive gestures. Okay, moving on to tip number two, don't tell everyone that you're traveling alone. Sure, there may be people who realize you're traveling alone if they're in your accommodation. For instance, if you're staying in a hostel and you're all going out exploring together. However, when meeting people out and about, there isn't really a reason to tell them. Because while well, I do believe that most people are kind, there are also people who may take advantage of this fact. If a stranger asks you who you're traveling with, tell them that your husband, wife, friend, parent, whatever is in the bathroom and will be out in a minute. Moreover, if you ever feel uncomfortable, move to a very public area and even start chatting to someone to make it look like you're traveling together. Okay, now it's time to talk about tip number three, always carry your hotel's business card. This has gotten me out of a jam numerous times, especially when traveling in countries where I don't know the local language. Instead of needing to memorize a street address, you can just hail a cab and show them the card if you're ever lost or in a situation where you feel uncomfortable. To keep yourself extra safe, it's also recommended to take a photo of the business card with your phone and save the address in Google Maps. Speaking of Google Maps, let's chat about tip number four, get a local SIM card. Even if your phone works abroad with Wi-Fi, there will likely be plenty of times where there isn't Wi-Fi available and you'll need a SIM card to be able to make calls or use data. Not only does this make your trip easier to navigate because trying to get around in a familiar place without Google Maps is a nightmare, at least for me, but this also means that you can call an Uber, you can get back to your hotel if you're lost, you can download safety apps, and you can even call the local authorities if needed. Oh. And since we just mentioned safety apps, let's use tip number five to go over a few. I'll share a list of my favorite travel safety apps in the description box of this video though, if you want more suggestions. So one of my absolute favorite travel safety apps is the emergency app from the American Red Cross. You'll be able to customize over 35 emergency alerts based on your location and where your contacts live. Plus the app features a kit of emergency first aid information for a variety of situations. There is also GeoShore, which provides hyper-local safety advice based on a variety of factors like violence, theft, human rights issues, and more. TripWhistle is another great safety app that allows you to dial the local authorities right from the app, which is great since the number can vary from country to country. Again, I'll leave a list of all of my favorite travel safety apps in the video description. Now let's chat about tip number six, invest in pickpocket-proof garments. There is a brand I absolutely love called Clever Travel Companion that makes pickpocket proof shirts, pants, dresses, and underwear, meaning these garments have hidden pockets that can hold your valuables. There is also another small brand I love called Speakeasy Travel Supply that makes handmade hidden pocket scarves for every season. Not only can you leave your purse at home with these garments, but thieves won't even know that you're carrying cash. Now, quick note here, while these pockets can carry your valuables, I do recommend leaving anything you would mind losing at home. Not only do visible valuables make you a target, 
but traveling in itself can make you more disorganized and more likely to lose things, at least in my experience. Okay, moving on to tip number seven, carry a safety alarm. There are many brands that make these, I'll leave the one I use below, but the gist is always the same. You either press a button or pull a pin and the safety alarm blares as loud as a fire truck. Seriously, when I tested my last one inside my apartment, I actually scared myself and started screaming. No, really, really. The beauty of these tiny devices is that they're super portable, but have the power to scare away potential attackers and even animals. If you'd prefer, you can also opt for a safety whistle. Just make sure it's designed for safety and is very, very, very loud. Ready for tip number eight? Know a few helpful phrases. Well, nobody's expecting you to become fluent in another language before your vacation, although if you can, you'll certainly have an advantage, but knowing a few useful phrases is crucial, along with being able to ask where the nearest bathroom is, how to order food, and the proper way to greet someone, it is important to know how to ask for help. When I was hiking by myself in Ecuador, I had a very scary experience where an angry dog ran out of nowhere and acted it aggressively towards me. Instinctively, I grabbed a large rock and held it over my head in a threatening manner, stopping the dog from approaching, but not willing him to go away. I began to scream, Ayudame, help me, help me, at the top of my lungs. Some nearby farmers heard me and were able to help me get the animal away safely. Okay, now we're on to tip number nine, don't assume your hotel is safe. Now, I realize there are probably quite a few of you whose hair just stood up on their arms. It is definitely a frightening and creepy thing to consider someone coming into your hotel room uninvited or going through your things, but it happens. The good news is many hotel rooms nowadays have deadbolts, which I highly recommend using when you're in the room. Additionally, you might consider investing in a doorstop. They even make ones with alarms on them, to help. And of course, lock up valuables in an in-room safe, which is also safer than leaving your things with the desk attendant. Well, it's never happened to me. I met one traveler who left his money and passport at the front desk of his hostel. When he returned for his valuables, they pretended they didn't know what he was talking about. You know, if you're nervous about leaving your passport and money in the in-room safe, put a shoe in there or something else that you definitely won't leave without, so then it will be impossible to not check the safe. Oh, hey, look over there, because now we have tip number 10, don't get distracted. One of the most common tactics that thieves use to pickpocket travelers is distracting them with a chaotic or interesting situation. Some may simply engage you in conversation or have children surround you and start high-fiving you, while others will go so far as throwing a baby so you focus on catching it. Usually the baby is a fake baby, but still. When I was in Barcelona, some men from my hostel and I decided to check out the bars on Las Ramblas as one does. On the way, an attractive woman went up to one of them and started fondling his nether region. While his instinctual feeling was flattery, it should have been to become more alert. And not surprisingly, her main goal was getting his wallet, which she did. And finally, in our list, we've got tip number 11, always trust your gut. This is the most important tip on the whole list. Your gut is almost always correct. If you meet a new person, but something about them is rubbing you the wrong way, get away from them. Don't feel bad about being rude. When you're wandering around a new neighborhood and suddenly get a sick feeling in your stomach, hop in a cab or call an Uber. If you check into a hotel, but something just seems unsettling, check out and find somewhere else to stay. Never underestimate the power of your own intuition. All right, now I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you feel inspired and empowered to travel solo safely. Also, if you have any solo travel safety tips to add or additional questions about the topic, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget also to grab access to the free Savvy Solo Traveler email course, which will help equip you to confidently travel solo in just six days. And of course, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss future videos sharing tips and strategies for exploring the world, experiencing life, and building a business beyond the guidebook. Happy trails.